Now that we have a good of working knowledge of the organizational components that make up a plant's anatomy, we can sort of delve deeper and look at more of the specific structures associated with the anatomical features that we see in plants. We're going to start this discussion by looking at plant organs, so we'll entitle this flowchart Plant Organs 1. And this first flowchart on these organs will be devoted to looking at the roots and the roots of plants are a part of the overall root system of the plant, but the specific organ that we're looking at is the root. So if you imagine that the human body, human anatomy, has a circulatory system, we could look at a specific part of the circulatory system known as the heart. That's the same idea that we're doing here, not necessarily the same functions, of course, but same sort of scope of what we're looking at. Now before I move forward, I want to make sure we understand something we established in the previous flowchart. Every single plant organ contains all three of those tissue systems, specifically the dermal, vascular, and ground. So roots contain dermal tissue, they contain vascular tissue, and they contain ground tissue. That's something that's important to understand. This is an organ and thus it contains all three. So let's look at the specific functions associated with roots. Roots are plant organs. Now, these are going to be important functions for the overall plant. So, the first one to look at is the fact that the roots anchor a plant to the ground. That's usually not news to anybody. It's pretty obvious, pretty common known thing about these roots. In addition, roots are going to play a major role in a process known as absorption. We've seen sort of ideas of this when we looked at fungi diversity. Absorption is going to play a major role because this is going to be the point at which we have material that's useful to the plant that's going to be taken up through the roots. So it's specifically taken up through this organ known as the roots. So that's another function. And uh, another function to understand is storage. Storage is important because this is what's going to be the roots at least. This organ is going to be a location at which carbs will be produced. So those are things like sugars, right? And plants can produce their own sugars by doing photosynthesis, of course. And so once you have done photosynthesis and made your own carbs and sugars, you can then store them right in the roots. And it's a good place to store them. So the carbs are produced and stored here. So it's sort of a, a double function in terms of storage. So those are our main functions of roots. Now with functions, you always want to also look at structure because structure will play a big role in how the root as a plant organ functions. So in terms of structure, what we first need to understand is the fact that there will be a primary root structure. A primary root is simply something that originates in the seed embryo. It's really the first root ever, and it's the sort of really sort of young and uh, fully sort of developed part of a young plant. So it originates in the seed embryo. That's all we should really understand. It's the first part of the root. It's the first root, primary root. Within this structure, from this structure, we get other parts of the root system overall and the root organ. That's going to be things like lateral roots. Lateral roots are those that grow and branch off of the primary root. So grow plus branch off of that primary root. One degree for primary root. So these are lateral. So these are this is usually growing uh, in one simple way, sort of horizontal. And then on the lateral sides of it, so imagine this is my primary root. I'm going to have these lateral roots also start growing through this. And that's what, basically what we're looking at here. Then we also are going to have a very important structure known as root hairs. Root hairs are incredibly important for the overall functional success of roots as the plant organ. Now, root hairs are broadly going to be considered thin, finger-like extensions. Okay, so they're thin, finger-like extensions, but specifically of the root. And remember, the root has all three tissues. It has dermal, vascular, and ground. This is going to be specifically something known as epidermal cells. So it's part of the dermal tissue, epidermal cells. So epidermal cells are found within roots, and with, on them, let's say, are these little extensions, or from them are these little extensions that are thin and finger-like. Now, the one thing you have to understand about these epidermal cells, ECs for short, epidermal cells are simply going to be the outer covering. 
So if you have an outer covering of a root full of epidermal cells, some of those epidermal cells will have these thin finger-like extensions called root hairs. Now, there's going to be a purpose for this. Root hairs are typically found near the tips of elongating roots, roots that are still growing, essentially. This is a big, functional, successful component of these roots, of these root hairs specifically, because if something's elongating, we know that it's growing. And if it's growing, that means it needs nutrients, it needs some sort of... Uh, Thing from its environment, and so that's what's going to happen. The root hairs are going to be found there. Where they're not going to be found is actually on older roots, so roots that are not growing. The older roots don't have hairs. Why is that? Well, they're not growing anymore. If a root is elongating, it will have those hairs because those hairs are going to be important in the following. They increase surface area, SA for surface area, and if you increase surface area, we know that's a big theme of biology, a big successful good thing in biology. This is going to increase your absorptive capabilities. So we'll say just increases absorption. We don't have to make it any fancier than that. And then if you increase absorption through increasing surface area, you know what else you increase? You increase a very important function. You uh, increase overall mineral and nutrient uptake. Mineral plus N-U-T-R for nutrient uptake, meaning you'll be more healthy, you'll be more successful, you'll be able to grow faster. And that's a basic overview of the roots, which are found in the root systems. Keep in mind that roots have all three tissue systems. Don't forget that. They have dermal, they have the vascular, and ground tissue. And we'll continue looking at the different types of root systems in the next video.